pasta in our house is always the first choice for supper. They started off with pesto with pasta, and now they have much more exciting things, but this time it's going to be chicken. And as you can see, I've got a bit of help. This is Hobie and Louie, and we're all going to do it together. Wish us luck. Start by cooking 250 grams of dried penny pasta and add one roughly chopped onion to the boiling salted water. While the pasta cooks, move on to the chicken. For six people, use three chicken breasts cut in two little strips. If you put one tablespoonful of paprika pepper in the bag first, and that makes it really, really brown and crispy. That's it. And then a little bit of pepper and salt. That's it. And then put the chicken in there, all of it. Well done. And then if you hold the top of the bag and rub until you've coated, rub it like that with your hands. That's right. That's it. Give it a good rub. Heat one tablespoonful of oil and in goes the coated chicken. Melt 50 grams of butter and add 50 grams of plain flour. Now add 750 ml of hot milk in two lots. Add most of 100 grams of parmesan to the pan. That's it, and um, we'll keep that for the top. And then one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So all of it will have. Just one level one. That's it, in it goes. Finally season, then add the cooked pasta and onion. Pour half the mix into a three-pint buttered oven-proof dish. Then we're going to put the chicken in. I'm going to do that in one layer like that. Then all the rest of the pasta over the top. And well done. It's not a bit burnt on the bottom. You've stirred it all the time. That's it. Sprinkle the rest of the cheese and the chopped tomatoes on top. That's still warm, so I'm going to put it in the oven at 200 degrees fan and it'll be all bubbling and crispy on top in about 20 minutes. How about going out and having a bit of a play till it's done? When it's ready, leave it to cool down a bit and then dig in. Well, who wants a taste? Me. Me. OK. Look at all these crunchy bits on top there. That's for you too. Ooh, need to get that bit. This has always been one of my favourites. I think it's going to be one of their favourites too.